Welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be doing SQ Health. So I already kind of started it because I want to make sure that I wasn't uh, going a little bit too like too deep into stuff. But we'll go ahead and stop this attack over here, clear stuff out, and um, I don't think it is. I don't think it's going too deep into things. Um, some of them go pretty deep, but uh, I already started the box and everything. I said we're going to do SQ Health. Now there's a bunch of different ways that you can exploit these systems. You can do it with curl. You can do it manually, you can do it with SQL map, and today we're going to be focusing a lot on SQL map, because that's something you are allowed to use for EJPT and ECPPT, and uh, obviously like the web application penetration testing, and things like that. Alright, so since we're doing SQL injection, the first thing I want to look up is my OWASP top 10 SQL injection. Alright, and we're going to try to find some things, you know, that might help us out here. Um, if you watch me do the juice shop, or anything like that, then um, you'll know that I've been to the site before and utilized it before to be able to get different attacks going. Um, trying to figure out where the username and password attack is that they have here. I wonder if it's a uh, on their cheat sheet, maybe. And this might actually be the same thing. Yep. All right. Um. So. I'm trying to figure out like, where the little username injection cheat sheet. Okay. And I mean there's just a whole bunch of stuff out here. You can also utilize a burp suite. You can utilize a lot of different things for it. Like I said, if you watch my um WAPT videos, things like that, you'll definitely be able to see all that stuff on there. Actually this might be the exact one that I'm looking for like right here. There's one that pretty much hits up all the different SQL injections. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty good for a cheat sheet kind of thing. <clears throat> good news is, is that I pretty much have it saved. So we can do try something like that. But, we're going to do an SQL injection. Let's go ahead and start it off. I already have my IP address. We're going to do an MF scan at the beginning, like we usually do. Alright, TAC v TAC. It's all ports. Do not ping. Very verbose. Time to four and no DNS lookup. So for that IP address, we get port 80 and 22 back, and that is going to be it. Let's go ahead and clear that out. And so let's go into port 80, and we get a my blog, and we have a couple posts by admin here. We have terms and conditions. We have a login. So let's go ahead and try to do a login first. Uh, username. We'll do um, that a little possibly there uh, we can say or a equals a or a equals a okay so what we're doing here is we're putting possibly in to break up the SQL syntax what we're hoping for um, and then we're hoping to drop something here because we're gonna say or a equals a which is always a true statement we probably actually get rid of that second one or a equals a which is also always true so it's saying hey go ahead and we're gonna do an always true statement so go ahead and let's see if we can uh Let's see if we utilize that and we'll be able to pull back a database with it. Alright, so we're going to click on, and then for the password, I just typed in A. That was it. We're going to click on Login. And as you can see, that does log you in. Alright, so we do get our first flag there. So that was a pretty easy one, like right there. Um, we can go ahead and throw that into our <coughs> oh, man. flag one over here. And we got that guy. So that guy was pretty easy. So let's keep going. We're just going to keep kind of click around on this thing, see if there's anything else we could possibly do. Um, as we got logged in, let's see if there's anything. So let's go ahead and do a burp suite. All right. Um, and we'll have burp suite pulled up. Now I did a little bit on this guy. I didn't do the whole thing, so kind of got one in here a little bit blind. We got burp suite pulled up. Uh, we'll do it A again. We'll go to log in. Burp suite intercepts it. We have this like right here, password A. Post, this is just a login. Send it to repeater. Send it off. Okay, all we get is the fly back. And okay, nothing crazy on here. It doesn't look like yet. We're not really looking too deep into it just yet. It doesn't look like there's anything crazy on here. I do see an XWW form uh, URL encoded, so it's definitely an X type. So we can look into that. That might be something we want to look into. But as of right now, that's looking pretty pretty normal. Like right there. So let's go ahead and let's see what else we got here. 
we have a register. So we can try to register. Uh, username, we can do admin. Okay, that's good. It says username already taken. So that might help us out. So let's go ahead and intercept that. Because if the username is already taken, then we know that it's reaching back to a database somewhere and telling us, hey, that username is already taken. Okay, like we can't use that. So it's talking to somebody. But if we look up here, it doesn't look like it's reaching anywhere at our URL up here. So we click on register. Registrations are no longer open. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and try to refresh this. And we do have a slash register. Okay, forward. Uh, we'll try admin again. Admin, admin, admin. We'll go down to register. It just keeps telling us registration no longer open. Okay. Um, we just try to register like that. Right click. Let's send this to repeater. Send that off. See if we get anything. Let's see here. Can we just forward this off? Can we get anything with this? Doesn't look like it. So let's try test. Test, test. First suite is on, so I don't know why it's uh, not intercepting it. Registration are no longer open. Okay, so we do have a. Okay, there we go. So it is checking. So we get a get register user check question mark username equals TE. So didn't even check for the whole test, it just said TE. So I wonder if we actually put in admin up here. And let's send that out to the repeater if it says username um, is not available or whatever, already taken. Available is false. All right, cool. So that's good. So what we can do from here is we could try to do a register user username. We could try to grab this whole guy, and we'll go ahead and turn intercept off. Say okay, and let's see if we can actually throw this guy up here. Okay, available is false. So let's go ahead and take this whole guy, and we're going to throw him into an SQL map. We're going to say SQL map tag tag URL. We don't know the database or anything yet. We don't know anything yet, right? Um, let's go ahead and put some quotation marks on this guy like right here. Boom, boom. Okay. We don't know a database. We don't have any idea of what to do yet. So we can say uh, tac tac DBS. Like, hey, try to drop the database. We don't actually know what it is yet. We're just hoping you drop the database or something. Um, tac tac level equals three. Tac tac risk equals three. Tech tech thread equals 10. Okay, we'll try something like that first. We'll see if that works. So that was level 3, risk 3, thread 10. Alright, the more risk you have, the louder SQL map is going to be also. Okay, get for our username appears to be and Boolean based blind. We're having a uh, clause is injectable. So something is injectable on here. Do you want to skip payload for other databases? Yep, looks like we're working with MySQL. So if we're working with MySQL now, that's good. We can utilize that for the rest of the time. This guy's going to go through and try to go ahead and get get the database off of that. And then from there, we can start to work from there. Um, so that was check username, right? Go ahead and press back, 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 back. All right, we have second post by admin. That's, I already know, that's, that's injectable. That's 100% injectable. Cannot find user. Okay, that's something up there. What if we change it to a 2? Do we get anybody else? Okay. About well, 99. Okay. So let's go ahead and grab this. Guarantee that this is going to be injectable up here. We have first post, second post, first post. We have a post and we also have user. So I can guarantee one of those two are going to be injectable or both of them. Um, yes or no. Whatever, if you just stick with the default values, you're usually going to be pretty good with that. Let's do an SQL map. Tac tac URL. If union base selection is not detected, please consider forcing the back end DBMS to use MySQL, which we are going to this time. So we say tac tac DBMS equals MySQL. Because we figured that out with the last one, like right here. We got told, hey, it's MySQL. All right. Uh, injection not exploited, no values. Do you want to try random integers? Yes, please. Uh, we're got, we want to try to drop the database right. Uh, we're going to do thread of 10, level of 3, and risk of uh, 3. So with level, you can go all the way up to 5, I believe it is, if you want to uh, search it really hard for something. 
or if you're really thinking like this has to be, you know, injectable. Um, here is the test shows that ID parameter may be injectable. So that's good. So we're going to try that, and then we're also going to try, let's go ahead and open this guy all the way up, because, whoopsie daisy, um, I just messed that up, then I, do I, can I like, can't refresh everything either, so we're just going to go ahead and we'll just run that guy right back again, username admin, wait, 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 wait. That's the same one? No, okay. Yep, I have to do this one all over again. Whoopsie daisy. Messed up. I used that one by accident. Alright, so um, while these two are running, we're going to try... I want to also try... um. What is it? That post. So we get that post ID also. So I wonder if this post is also injectable too. Okay, so looks like this guy did do something. Okay, he dropped a database. So this was for ID, I believe it was. Yep, ID equals one. And he did drop a database. So before we go any further into him, let's go ahead and see about this post like right here. If that's injectable. Okay, then we'll do um, tac tac dvms equals minus ql. So what we're doing with this command I'm putting more and more onto it each time. Tac Tac DBS is saying, hey, drop the database. So that's the two databases it just found, okay? Tac Tac DBMS is saying, hey, the database management system is MySQL. We know that for a fact, okay? Because we already got, we already see that right here. We already got it into them. That's MySQL. Cool. We want to do a level three and a risk level of three. So level three. Let's say how hard you really want me to try and how much risk, how loud do you want me to be, right? How risky you want me to give this guy. And then threads 10 is how fast you want me to move. I think 10 is the highest one, uh, if I remember correctly. So now that we see this SQ hell, what do we do with that? All right, so we can say, hey, capital D, we're going to use the database SQ hell, SQ hell, underscore four. And then we're going to say tag tag tables. I want you to drop all the tables now. So you may have seen me do this in, I believe, um, I think I did it in um, Bugle. I think it was that I did this one in. But I probably did not explain it nearly as well or went through the whole thing. So as you can see, now we get users. That was much faster also because it already knows how to get into it. So now we have users. So we say, okay, cool. We're going to say, hey, tac t users. And then I want you to, and then what I want you to do is tac tac dump. So I want you to dump everything that's in the user's table, right? And we get this nice ID, password, password, username is admin. So it's admin with password. Now, is that going to work? I don't know. I have no idea. We can try it. Log in. Admin and password. And it doesn't work, but we did get admin and password. So I don't really know what it wants me to do with this one. It just says ID1, password, username, admin. I don't really know what it actually wants me to do with that, but this one out here is going to be a, um, you see this one's time-based, time-based blind. So what it's doing is it retrieved two different databases and it's trying to figure out what those two different databases are. As you can see, it's starting to build it up like right here. Okay, because it's time-based and blind, so it's sending something at it, like a letter at it, seeing how long it takes for that letter to come back, and seeing does that letter actually exist or not. So it's SQL3, cool, and then we do have to figure out that SQL Health 4. I wonder if it's in the information schema, I wonder if it's in the other uh, database or something, because that's really weird that we didn't get anything out of that. But we'll try that here in like a little bit. So let's go ahead and, let's get this guy up and running actually. And we'll come back over here, and we'll do a SQL... Uh, do the same exact thing right, except for this time our database. So capital D is going to be SQL underscore three, right? And we want to drop all the tables. So tag tag tables. Alright, it's trying. This guy over here is trying. This one over here is done. So remember this one is time based down here. 
so we did receive flag, and this looks like retrieve four flag. Let's see what that's all about. So we have flag and then users. So let's go ahead and do um, tac t flag, and then we'll say tac tac dump, and then we can do tac t users tac tac dump. We can do both of those. SQL5, so this was done. What was this one over here? Union based, type is error based, Boolean based, blind, error based. Okay. So this one's going to try to get the flag for us right now, and that's flag 3, it looks like. This one's got SQL5, so let's go ahead and look at that. Now, if you were doing this, um, by hand and everything, how you can. Another way that you could do it, or using curl and things like that, this would be much harder. Uh, SQL maps is extremely powerful, not allowed to be used in OSCP, is allowed to be used in um, anything that's uh, IID, e-learning security, whatever you want to call it. It's allowed to be used for that. But it is an extremely powerful tool. So we have flag post and users. So what we can do is we can just do a tac tac dump and dump everything that's in here also. We don't actually don't have to go to tables or anything like that. We just dump everything that's in there. So we're just going to do that with this one because that one seems like a pretty big one. So we do have flag 3, like right here. Man, that one dumped a lot of stuff. So this is flag 3. We'll submit that. If it decides it wants us to, Let's go let us. All right. Let's go ahead and I'll just make a directory. I'll just think I'll just make directory. Desktop. Try hack me. Um, SQ help. And we'll see the in there. Let's do a nano flags. I'll just get to throw this guy in there just because if it doesn't take in, then at least I have that flag still. Okay. Then we also have this flag right here, this flag five. All right, cool. Um, so we got flag three, flag five. I found, I mean, flag four. I'm not really understanding where it's at here. I think I'm just going to dump the whole thing. I'm not just going to dump users. I think I'm just going to dump all of SQL4. We get that. Uh, let's try to dump everything in here. Can I just do that? We still just get the same thing, huh? Okay. Um, let's see what the databases are again for this guy. SQL4. Password, username, ID. ID1, password, admin. That's super weird. Why is this guy working on either? Refresh. Oh, no, duh. <laughs> First we still on. That could be a problem. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, we'll scroll down. Put that flag back in there. No, that's flag 5. So we can delete that. Put that flag back in there. Submit. Uh, flag three was cats flags. There's flag three. So we found quite a few flags so far. I found three of them so far. We have yet to find two or four. So we're still waiting on both of those. Um, hmm. So. I did say at the beginning, username was admin password. Now, I wonder if it's password admin. I got right joking. She's got things written out. I wonder why it's giving me those credentials. Those credentials don't work. There's the two posts like right there for this guy. ID, SQL5. I don't think I can actually log into this thing. I don't think I can. Um, home, we have these two posts, right? Post ID equals two. ID user equals ID of one. We already got in with 
other stuff. Seems like now we're starting to get to the hard ways. These ones also have hints too. So now it seems like we're starting to get into the harder things here. And the things that, you know, are going to be a little bit tougher, I think, to get into. Um, I did see that X forwarded, right? So we may be able to do something with that. And that would be in the headers. Um, it is SQL maps have to have URL. And I think we would do just straight up just the IP address. HTTP, boom, boom. It should just be just straight up just this, like right here. If we're going to work out the headers. Because we do have, we did have the X frame. Right? So, I also have terms and conditions down here, too. I haven't looked at that yet, have I? Terms and conditions. We'll go ahead and look at that, too. Open that like a new tab. We own the sole visitors. We can't be blamed for any security breaches. And we log your IP address. See, we log your IP address. That one, like, right there. Okay. Um, what I'm thinking, if they log our IP address, it's got to be an X-frame header. And it's going to be just this, right? Right there. And then it's going to be tag header. All right, then, like I said, it has to be an X frame. It might be header equals. We're just going to try header, and then we'll do X. It's going to be X forwarded for one. All right, because it is user ID of one, right? That's what we've seen the whole time. And then we know that the database dbms is equal to minus two L. No prayer file for testing. Yes, I understand. Um, is it headers equals? Is that a thing? No parameters found for testing. I know that there's no parameters found for testing because I want to look at the actual headers itself, which this is... I feel like this is going to be a pain. Let's try... Star. Custom rejection mark star found header. Do you want to process it? Yes. Yes, I do. Because it says that there, it says right in that terms and conditions that we log your IP address for. So what's it look like in cookies? We'll see, easy. F12. Let's go ahead and look at our cookies. Nothing in there. Okay. So I want to see if there's anything inside our cookies or anything like that. But as we're logging our key address, it has to be that. And we already found the X frame header. So those are the two things that we're looking at like right now. And now we're getting into some stuff that's like, man, this is uh, it's a lot harder. So we're getting into some stuff now that's um, a lot crazier than what you're going to need to know. Um, so while that's running, it's a false positive. X forward for that is vulnerable. Do you want to keep testing? No. Okay, so it is vulnerable. Backup database is DBMS. And can we get anything with this? MySQL. Okay, so. Oh, type that DBS. I might want to know what the database is. You know. Um, and while that's going, we still need to figure out what number five is also. Or what the, uh, the other flag is. Um, I don't know if that's going to be two or four. Like right there, but I always try to figure that one out. Yes, please. So now we still need to figure out which flag is like what's what's the next flag. Huh. We still figure. I mean, we still got to SQL Health Four. That's not really understanding because we got there and we couldn't do anything with it. 
So, I'm kind of confused on that. Retrieved eyes. So it's going to retrieve an information scheme. I'll tell you that much right now. I know that. So, hopefully it goes a little bit faster. Is threads? What's the thread that? Yeah, 10 act threads equals 10. Yeah, she said yes. Screw that. Yes. Then we're going to say yes, like right here. There we go. Yes. And that guy seems like he's going to take a minute to actually run and do and some of that. So, we found that SQ4. I don't understand SQ the four. I don't understand that one. Like right there. Because we got to it. But we couldn't do anything for number four. That's what I'm not really understanding with that guy. Information schema. Should know this by now. Let's go ahead and try to do four again. And I don't remember where four is even at. That's what kind of sucks. I think it was an ID, right? Equals. Oh boy, do I even? Yeah, okay, I still do have it. Up. Okay. Home. I think it was ID equals, right? With four. It was in here, right? By post admin. Yeah, I think it was in here. So we'll go ahead and try to grab that again. And let's go ahead and, uh, Man, this guy's taking a minute, huh? Hopefully we're not about to mess up, mess this thing up. Um, SQL maps, that's like URL, HTTP, that's that. That guy right there, that's that DVMS equals MySQL. We're going to look at the databases again. Um, level equals three, risk equals three, threads equals ten. Oh, that is 100% invalid. Those are facts, thank you. Okay, there we go. And we'll go ahead and try this one again. So, yeah, right now we are going way, way, way above and beyond what we need to be doing for something like this. Um, let's go ahead and do it, get rid of threads equals 10, because it doesn't really seem like that very much. Let's try to look at information schema. Information schema, contact tables. Let's see what's in here. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in there. Okay. Not really seeing what I want to see in here. 
I was hoping to find like a flags or like users table or something like that. But not really seeing anything that I want to see in here, so that kind of sucks. Try to dump him. And do we actually get like how we actually dump this guy? Does it actually show us the payload ID equals one and select six five from select sleep. Okay. Select sleep. No concat. What if we just need to do like a uh, put something like that in the actual web page? I don't know. But that is what I wrote. Formation something. We're dropping the database over here. Um, let's try that. ID equals huh? Okay, that's not really giving me too much there. <laughs> um, may not be able to get this one today. But this one seems like uh, number four seems like it's gonna take a while to do. Like we may have to actually like go through and like manually exploit it. But this guy's still going, so maybe yeah, information schema as we're typing up here. Um, that guy's still going. We could try. So we can start to try to manually exploit it and start to come up with, you know, different things to be able to manually exploit it. And um, we'll, we'll, we, we, we'll do that. All right. Um, I guess we'll try with union select. It equals one. Union select. All right. Can I find user? Okay. Should be like union select. Oh God. Um. Select database. No, is that what it is, or is it? it? Might be another way around. That might not be exactly how to do it. Okay, there we go. So we got user four at local host. That's different than what we had before. So the user select database user, and then said, "Hey, no." Um, so that might give us something there. This is going to take a while. Because the reason we did actually, we know there's three parameters. We have the user ID, we have a username, and we have uh, the post, right? So we know there's three different parameters. So that's why we did it, you know, three different things up here. The database, the user, and the null. Okay, uh, if we didn't know how many parameters there were, we could say one. Uh, if that doesn't work, then we say one, two, I think it is. And then we say three, isn't it? Something like that. Yeah, now we know there's three different parameters, right? So that's how we realize that. But if we're looking at it, we're like, okay, that's a parameter, that's a parameter, these are parameters. 
So that's going to be, a, those are our parameters that we're working with, like, right there. And that's how we start to get up with that, right? So we do have a concat. Um, don't really care too much about that because we already got into it, right? So we could probably try to drop the flag now if we could figure out how to drop the flag. Um, that's going to take a lot of trial and error. Like, when I say a lot, I mean, like, hours of trial and error. I'm probably not going to do that. No offense to anybody, but um, I'm, probably, I'm, I'm not going to do that, most likely. Because uh, it's, it's going to take, like, for me, it'll take a couple hours. I know that much. Of trial and error, trying to get that thing dropped. So, if I was doing a test, 100% I would. Probably come back to it. <laughs> but, um, for something like this, no. I'll probably do that one in my own time. I'll always do hours of trial and error trying to get that. Oh, man. Still was waiting for this guy. Retrieving stuff. This will be our last one. But that is how you use SQL map. So you saw in the beginning, we did log in. Um, so if you use an apostrophe, so let's say we got this ID equals, um, and we put an apostrophe here. Uh, a lot of times with uh, MySQL, this, this box is a medium box. It's not an easy one. A lot of times with MySQL, you will get something like a, um, some type of error back. Okay. Or we could do a one or one equals one. Okay, we do something like that, okay. Um, and you might be able to get something back out of it. Um, but um, like I said, this guy's also a medium box. And he's called SQ Hell, so he's not really going to tell us, you know, like, oh yeah, this doesn't work. But if you get something back, like some type of error message, that's how you know, yeah, this is most likely injectable, like right here. So we do have a flag. So let's go ahead and just go straight to the table. Tac T is going to be flag. Then we'll do a tac tac dump. And then we'll show you one more way, probably at the very beginning here. Um, definitely not with this one. But let's do it at the very beginning here. I should we do it with that one? That one actually wasn't too bad. So let's show one more way of being able to do this. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to intercept this request. Alright. Um, let's go ahead and intercept that request. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to send SQL map a file to utilize. All right, so I'll go ahead and refresh this page. It intercepts it right. We can send it to repeater, whatever else we want to do, but we can also save it to a text file. So we can save item, and let's save it to my try hack me, and we call this one, that's not what I wanted, desktop. Um, it was desktop try hack me, right? And this one was SQ hell, and we'll say um, ID.txt. Right, because that's what it is, the ID. Now what we can do is we can do an SQL map, tag R, ID.txt. Alright, tag tag DBMS equals MySQL. We're going to do everything else the same, except for we're just not putting in that IP address. Um, let's see here, tag tag DBS. Okay, we want to dump the database right. Uh, maybe if I actually go into the proper folder. <laughs> I'll say, now I look like an idiot, but no, there we go. Try hack me, and we'll do um. It's called it's called SQL hell SQL hell, and we'll go ahead and do that again. And you see now it's going to run through, and it's going to fetch data log. Okay, SQL hell four, and it did that through the file this time. Looking at the file that we saved, then so we can just continue to use that. And this is really good for um things like um. WSDL, SOAP, those kind of attacks. So this is really good for things like that. We can do attack T, users, 
dump that and we see that that does its thing okay now it looks like fetching entries for table and flag and database su hell one this looks like it's going to take a minute so i will leave you guys here um you should i mean you just wait on your own you're going to be able to dump this one obviously and so i'm going to leave you guys here that should be about it i'll stick around for any questions or anything like that I understand that that may have been a little bit confusing. You may have felt like you were a little bit outside of your comfort zone. But just realize that if you start putting apostrophes everywhere with EJPT, um, I think even with ECPPT, I don't remember really too much of this with that. But if you start putting apostrophes, things like that, and you start to see, all right, cool, yeah, I can log in. Um, if you're doing that, uh, one or what equals one or, or A equals A, things like that, you will be able to get in. Uh, if it's vulnerable to it, especially on the easier boxes. So I know that this one is a little bit more difficult than what I wanted to do. But I felt like if you know how to do the difficult stuff, that you can do the, the easy stuff. So hopefully you guys learned something with all that. All right, doesn't look like there's uh, any questions. So I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys to your things. Uh, go ahead and let me know. If you have any questions or anything like that, uh, hit me up. I'll try to answer them the best I can with uh, SQL injection. Uh, maybe we'll do another box like this, or I believe on Bugle I did it. What time is it? 8.42. I might just do Bugle like real quick again. I think I, I, mean, I already did it once. I just do like real quick again, just to uh, get back to a database. Maybe show you guys uh, what to do once you're inside of a database. Is that was just dropping one? Uh, but maybe now we should actually look at hey, how does MySQL inside of a database actually work? Well, let's uh, let's go ahead and go through that actually. And I can just go ahead and wait for I'll let that guy keep running. And we're gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna do it real quick here. I should just be able to go to learn. We'll see if I can remember even how to do bugle. Search for bugle one of me here. Not looking like he is. Um, what did I do Bugle on? Or is that on? That might have been on. Um, what is it? Proving grounds. I can always do basic pen tests. I think this actually has SQL on it also. I think it does. Let's see here. Uh, not look like it does. Never mind. Boot forcing. I think it's in CC pen test. That's what's in. It's in uh, CC. Pen testing. Yep, this guy right here. I believe that there's SQL map beside this guy. I think there is. Metis boy hash cracking SQL map. Here we go. Hey, no, a manual SQL variable web application. Let's go ahead and uh, do I have to join this room right there? That I do. Let's go ahead and join this room, and we'll do this one also. And that'll just kind of be like the hopefully a little bit easier ones for you guys. And we'll see what we can do with that. I don't know. There's, I mean, there's like three different types. So let's try that. Hey, oh, <laughs> answering questions but not even knowing what even happened. There we go. All right, and this guy's still running over here. And I was doing nano flags, and I'll throw that guy inside of there. It's almost done. Almost. Only another couple hours. <laughs> So we'll wait for this guy to start up and we'll do uh, CC, basic pen testing, SQL map also. No, this also has SMD, privilege escalation, awesome. Uh, tomorrow will be our privilege escalation. So that should be a good one. Uh, it will be in Linux privilege escalation. And we'll be going through and showing everything like that. Especially since I've done two Windows machines so far. For this uh, the series, 
So tomorrow will be privilege escalation when the, with the Windows machines. Uh, let's go ahead and grab my IP address up here. And I'm just going to make another little thing here. Just throw this guy up like a little bit and we'll do a CD back back. Make directory CC, CC basic pen testing. CD in there. And we'll go ahead and do an MMAP for that guy like right there. So we do have a port 80. Obviously, immediately we have that. We kind of need that to do some SQL injection. Message. I don't know. Error. <laughs> okay. So that's like a, that's what you would get. It was something like that. It'll say error. You have an error in your SQL syntax. Check the MAT that corresponds to your MySQL server. So now we do know it's MySQL. Okay. Error select star from message where message equals whatever. So that's something that you might see um, on like EJPT, ECPPT, on an actual thing. That's the thing you may see. All right, so um, that's what we'd actually be looking for, like right there. So let's go ahead and error select star from message where message equals something. I don't know what we're supposed to be doing with this guy. No idea. Uh, we go ahead and try to figure him out like, real quick. What is the name of the database? So we want select star from database. So that means uh, select or show database databases. Can we do that. Might just be show database. Show database. Do we have to actually do the show database like that? All right. Uh, this guy's getting a little bit more difficult. I thought it should be. Select star from users. Use information schema. I'm just kind of putting in MySQL commands now, but it doesn't really seem like we're actually getting anywhere. <laughs> with these commands, so that's not really helping out very much now, is it? Um, don't really know what it wants us to actually do with this guy, like right here. It says, what's the name of the database? How many tables in the database? What's the value of the flag? Let me say, ask you to check for vulnerabilities. Yeah, ask you map. Oh, you walk through an example, web app. Play the machine, let's get started. No, this task. We'll be using SQL map, however, you're welcome to try to exploit manually. It outputs the full SQL query out of every time, so you know what that MySQL is trying to do. See the URL and run the command. Just run the command, huh? Alright, we're going to go ahead and try to do some SQL map, I guess, on just this. It's not going to find anything to actually go against, though. That's what I'm kind of confused about. I wonder if there was, like, something above... Because there's nothing to actually... Yeah, see, it's like, hey, what are you talking about? I guess we can always do attack that forms. So there's a form on there. Do you want to test this form? Yeah, yeah. Edit post data. Okay. Do you want to fill? Yeah, sure. Random values, go for it. Yeah. That might be it. Might have just been attack attack forms. Um, which is something else that we may have been able to do with the basic pen testing one. So I'm going to kind of do two boxes at once here, I think. So our basic pen testing box. What do you grab the IP address for this guy? And I think it was login, right? So it was... Let's go ahead and get that guy back up and running. Because there's also a login in here, right? Login. And we had this. I wonder if we can use forms with that also. I wonder if we do SQL map, contact URL. Contact forms. We know that the DBMS equals MySQL. And we know we look for a DBS. Level equals 3. Risk equals 3. I know my face is probably in the way on this guy down here. But it just asked me the same questions that this one just asked me over here. So we're just trying to get some information from SQL map here. 
see if that works. And it does. It sees that username may be booting based. So, yeah, it does find it in tac, -tac form. That's another way to be able to do that one, I guess. Kind of forgot about that. Um, might as well throw this flag in there. I'm not going to throw the, other, the last flag in there because that's going to take forever. Like I said, oh, I actually didn't even open that guy up. Target URL appears to have one column and query. Why I should be able to just put that in there. Uh, what is the name? How many tables? Never mind. Post parent message appears to be MySQL and time based blind query sleep injectable. You had to do that one, huh? Couldn't just do like a Boolean based. Speaking of SQL, do you ever use Burst Fleet? Yeah. Yeah, I actually showed um, Burst Fleet being used, and good morning. I actually showed Burst Fleet being used with Attack R um, to show that, hey, you can get results with this. That works really good with WSDL and things like that. Um, Burst Fleet, I actually have it, had it up and running. So I could just send it, you know, send a repeater. You could try to do stuff on this guy and see, you know, what's injectable. Uh, another thing you can also do with Burst Suite that I didn't show here is I could, um, I could send this to Intruder, right? I'm going to go ahead and send that to Intruder. Positions, I can say, hey, yeah, I want to I want to attack that position like right there. Or like the username field or something like that. And then I can go to Payloads, Load, and just SQL.txt. Uh, for a lot of tests, this would be just fine. Um, this is usually got some pretty good stuff in there. So, and anything above this, you know, you're kind of making your own or finding some other ones on the internet that you can use. What we're really looking for here is with nothing. This is what we're getting back, right? And you notice our length. So what we're really looking for here is a drastic change in length between everybody and a drastic change in response. So it cannot find a user. And obviously. Um, this like right here may not have been the best one to show, but obviously it cannot find user in this thing, right? So it's trying its best to just go ahead and attack this. And usually I just go by length and see what I can do with that. Uh, but we'll let him run. Um, this guy's still running down here. This guy's still running down here, even though it was the other one that we did with the forms. And he is, he is finding stuff down here. He's found information schema, it looks like. And you also found another database where you retrieve two databases. I swear if the other one's users, not gonna be very happy. <laughs> but yeah, we actually just finished up Stig um, just like a minute ago. Ooh, here's a drastic change. 1818. What's this? User admin. Details, user ID. So that's a that's definitely a different one like right there that we just got. So that is a drastic change in information like right there but it looks like it's going to be the same as this one which doesn't mean anything to me I don't even think of an SQL list to be clear you can't use username and passwords in the same list where you target the fields and payload uh, what do you mean like if you're doing a so do you mean something like um let see here. I like this login form or something like that. Oh, I'm asking. No, you can use. Clearly, you can use usernames and passwords in the same list where you target the fields of payload. Okay, so you could, but no, like we wouldn't be able to. No, because like Hydra, things like that, is going to try that username and password as one field. So you need a username, not text, and a password, not text. Same thing with something like this. You would need a username and password, not text. Um. Now, Burst Suite, no, you can do it at the same time. It's just going to take a really long time. Like, if you're trying to brute force both the username and password, um, you're, it's going to take a long time. Usually, you either have a password or you have a username, whatever you're doing, brute forcing um, or password spraying, if you already have a password, not a username. Um, but, um, yeah, like, that, that would take a really long time. But, no, you can do them both at the same time. So, if we were to do this one, if I go to burp, um, and I go ahead and I try to log in, right, and I do admin, admin, and it's going to intercept that request, right? There we are. Log in. Don't save. Okay. Intercepts that. If I send that to the repeater, 
or into the to the intruder, excuse me. If I go to payloads or positions, it's gonna pick both of them already. So it'll do that. So you can you can attack them both at the same exact time. Just remember that it's gonna go through like that whole list. It, it's a very long attack. So it takes a while. Uh, we can load um you can load different ones for different payloads, things like that, for different areas and stuff like that. And that might actually only be able to do that with the pro version. So I believe I've seen it happen before, but might only be able to do that with the pro version. Zap can do it also. Sys test my SQL. So we got one, two, three, four, five tables in that one. So let's go ahead and get back to CC pen testing. Uh, let me go ahead and turn off this guy, turn off how many tables? Five. Submit. Um, that's a lie. <laughs> well, we have five databases. Never mind. They are right. What database? What's the name of the database? I don't know which one you want me to use. A bunch of them. MySQL test probably. So we can do attack D now, right? Test. Uh, attack, attack. Tables, right? Reds equals 10 that should be it um uh, so I got to attack forms on it yes and we have two tables in here lol and message it looks like so we have two tables and the database I believe that wants us to test which is test what is the value of the flag probably going to be in our message I would think we could just do attack, attack, dump, or attack T. Yeah, we'll just do attack, attack, dump, and we'll just dump the whole thing, and we'll find a flag in there. So there's the flag. Follow me, and there we go. That was a more, a little bit more uh, realistic one for the test that this thing is set up for that I'm uh, doing this one for. But there you go. That's um, that's SQL map. Um, hopefully everyone learned something, and uh. Hopefully you all uh you got you all got something out of this. So this video should be up in about 24 hours. So you guys have a good one, all right? Bye. Stig, how'd you get deleted? I'm about to change Nightbot. Sorry, Stig. Let me change. <laughs> Go on Nightbot. I tell him to screw off. <laughs> you say, hey, what's up? Nightbot's like, no! I hate you, Nightbot. Alright, you guys have, oh. Oh, I'm in. I did it. I, I did it. I'm in. I don't know how to do this, actually. Commands, giveaways, regulars, spam protection. Is that it? Links, repetitions. Here, we're going to disable that one. There. And that's it. All right, cool. There. Now you can do whatever you want. All right. You guys all have a good one. Good night.